Hike 360 here. We're about to do another hike today. We've got the Glenwood Dunes Trail that we're gonna do. And it's at the Indiana Dunes National uh, Lakeshore. So it's a 12.2 mile. Oh, we're looking for a certain fungus that's uh, rare for this area. I will hopefully find it and post a video about that. And we're also looking for holly trees. Here, we're at the first big junction. We're uh, going from the trailhead, we're taking all rights. So that's kind of the inner loop. And we'll come back on the outer loop. And this is a crossover point, which is kind of neat. So what is this sign? Oh, look at that. Pretty, so far, it's just been pretty straightforward. It's a sandy path, uh, but not difficult sand, very easy, just soft, soft on the feet. Not a lot of ups and downs. Yet. All right, we just crossed over Furnaceville Road. Uh, we're on the second boardwalk of our trail. We're walking through the wetlands of the Indiana National Dune. Very slippery. The boardwalk is very slippery. Slippery when wet. Almost fall number two for me. Fall number two meaning last week's fall. Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> Dad's going down. So we're walking on kind of a ridge line of the dune, if you will. The weather is just turning beautiful. The sun's coming out, temperature's going up. Quite a nice hike. So with each of these ridges, Brian Red told me that uh, each of these ridges represents a different lake level. So at some point the lake came to here. And then there's another ridge out there, so I guess that would be another line. All right, so we're taking a moment to look at the uh, the berries here. They're called Oriental Bittersweet Berries, and uh, you know, they're red, they've got the orange shell. The orange shell kind of breaks open and shows the red part. So I looked it up on Google Lens and uh, they are totally an invasive species. They're from uh, Eastern Asia and they have a tendency to uh, uproot trees. So if you can see it in the video, they, uh, the berries are coming from these vines that are just completely wrapping themselves super tightly around the tree and uh, making their way up. So it makes sense that they're uprooting trees. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It is it's tree after tree after, young tree after young tree after young tree here, uh, as well as I see them on these bigger trees too. Um, but it is crazy to see them wrapping around like that. Uh, really cool. I'm glad I was able to identify them. Said uh, there's a nice looking uh, woodpecker right over there flying around. Uh, it's either a downy woodpecker or a hairy woodpecker, but it's uh, got a, a woodpecking beak. There's like three of them flying around, maybe two, but a uh, woodpecking beak and then black and white on its uh, back. But no red spot, so it's not a, uh, I forget what the red-headed ones are called. But... Uh, woody woodpecker. Yeah, woody woodpecker. We're on a uh, part of the trail that's a cement path. And uh, I don't know, I guess, I don't know, it's a cement path. <laughs> that's all, all I know. We've been having a great time. We've been definitely grooving in the last part of the hike. And uh, talking to the animals, talking to people. Met a really nice guy named Richard. Shout out Richard. Shout out to Richard told us a lot about RVs and how he re he bought an RV in March and has been to, he dropped like eight 
Any we're different right. states that he's been in? Yeah, the extent. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, no, he's just talked about what um, what uh, what he's been through uh, living the RV life in the last couple months, and it seems like really uh, something I would like to be working towards. Something I am working towards. And I was able to suggest to him uh, a couple spots I know where you can take the RV. Uh, such as Chain of Lakes in, uh, in Illinois, Chain of Lakes State Park. That's got some really cool looking RV campgrounds, campsites. Over by uh, Fox Lake. All right, so we just passed uh, Teal Road. We're walking along, well, pretty much alongside Highway 12. Uh, we're entering the second half of the hike now, which is the west side of the hike, the west side of the trailhead. And uh, it's the Glenwood Dunes Extension Trail. So here we are starting that. Really nice breeze started up. And uh, oh, and the environment is just totally different from the, uh, what I was uh, walking through on the west side of the uh, trail. Uh, uh, sorry, the east side of the trail. Sorry, that's a little confusing. What I'm saying is, is that there's a constant flux in the environment as you go along. So in the description of this hike that the uh, author of the book we follow, what he wrote was that we would come across uh, a rare type of fungus and um, holly uh, or winter berries. And so I haven't found the fungus yet, but we did find the holly berries and uh, this is what they look like. So pretty cool to come across. It's, uh, he said it's going to be the only uh, plants with green leaves and, and red berries uh, that are still alive in fall. So these are holly berries. So here is the rare fungus we were looking for. Um, right next to some berry bush. Some berry bush. Maybe not. Maybe those aren't here. Uh, hollies, but. Magic puff balls. We are on the final extension, the far western side, and this is where all the fun, well, there's tons of fun plant life everywhere, but this is where our book describes some supposed fun stuff. Is that a slug? Oh, there's a slug right there. There? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna and poke one of these. Hopefully, not a spider web. <gasps> oh! Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Okay, I don't really. I don't really want to have a long drive home, if you know what I mean. I'm coming down here because there's another... What are these called down here? Uh, those were Hen of the Woods. Hen of the Woods. Let's see if I can find... Oh, here it is. These are... This trail really just came alive for us. Hen of the Woods. We are 10 miles into the hike. Oh, just take it easy. <laughs> okay, okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. Are you still recording? Yeah. All right, get it here. No, we already got it. I got it. You, you don't have to keep... It's just spores. Stop harming the mushrooms. Well, you're not harming them. You're right. You're actually reproducing mushrooms. But still, by morning, those will pop back out. That's oh, really cool. The big spider web here. I agree. 
And they are, seem to be all over the place, every log around here. We're almost at the end of the Glenwood Dunes exten uh, Trail extension. And uh, we're walking through a trail of pine trees. They turn piney on us. They turn piney. It smells piney on us, too. I love my pine. Take a look at the ground. Because it's nicely coated with a layer of dead pine needles. Hey guys, we just finished our hike. It's gonna be 14.35 uh, miles altogether. Uh, we started our trip this week with a crazy lightning and thunderstorm last night. And uh, that kept me up from 12.30 to 2.30 in the morning. And then we woke up and we went over to the trailhead for the Glenwood Dune Trail System. That's uh, the hike that we did today. We uh, started at the trailhead and then we headed east to the campgrounds, uh, that's the Dune Woods campgrounds all the way at the end. That's where we ran into our friend uh, Richard, new friend Richard, who talked a lot about RVs and uh, a lot of good information from him. Shout out Richard. Then we uh, walked back, always, oh, she's oh, flying, oh my gosh. Uh, then we came back to the trailhead and went uh, to the other side, the west side of uh, the uh, Glenwood Dunes. And uh, there is where we uh, ran into the uh, holly berries we were looking for, as well as the pear-shaped uh, puffballs, which is a fungus or a mushroom uh, that I poked at, and it produced, uh, you know, smoke, or, which is which are its spores uh, being released. And when we came back, uh, we saw that the mushroom had actually repaired itself, so it was expanded again, which was really cool. Uh, a lot of good uh, photos. Um, yeah, really good hike, but I'm totally worn out. We're going to Michigan City, we're gonna eat some dinner, some Mexican food, and then we're gonna head home, so.